So who got married? My dad's brother. Your dad's brother. My uncle, like basically. Well, basically, <laughs> your dad's brother. <laughs> and it's definitely your uncle, for sure. By law. Well, there you are again. <laughs> How are you today? Good. Yeah, you're busy today too? Did your aunt get married or something? Today is Sunday, yeah? Didn't you go to your uncle's or your aunt or something? Someone got married? Yes. Ah, so who got married? My dad's brother. Your dad's brother. My uncle, like basically. Well, basically, <laughs> your dad's brother. <laughs> and it's definitely your uncle, for sure. By law. <laughs> and how's little Fluffy doing? Uh, she's getting better. Yeah, little by little. Do you take her for walks every day? Uh, I did, but now she's she has some type of problem, so she's not allowed to go out. The vet told me. Uh, but you're in, in an apartment or in a house? House. Okay, so you have you have areas where you can go walking with the dog. You have places you can go walking with the dog. Yes. Okay, because I remember living in Jakarta, and there aren't that many parks around. True. <laughs> All right. Well. As I said, this is your, as I said yesterday, or the day before yesterday, um, this is your first test. So I'm just going to explain a little bit how we go through it. Um, as uh, it's also going, the format's going to change a bit now. We're in interest 27, so there's going to be a few changes to our testing process. But for today, it's still the old process. And what we're going to do is you're going to read to me about the history of lacrosse and the national sport, one of the national sports in Canada. And then I'm going to score your pronunciation and your flow, reading flow, um, how fluently you read. So you just take your time, relax, speak as clearly as you can. And then after that, I'm going to ask you some questions to see how much you comprehend, how much you understand of the story that you're, you're just read or the article you read and score your use of grammar and vocabulary and fluency again. Easy peasy, no problem. No, maybe. <laughs> you look nervous. I am, kinda. Oh, don't be nervous. This is a fun test. Fun, 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 easy, easy. All right, so when you're ready, you read to me about national sports. The history or? All of it. Oh. Right from the top, all the way down to aims and rules. Okay. Many national sports, such as cricket, football, or rugby, are popular around the world, but lacrosse is not particularly well known outside Canada. It is basically on a field game played by the original can can Canadian people, and we first hear of it in 1637, when a French traveler noted a game called Crosse. Awesome. Crosset, whole Indian villages played this game, and the lacrosse field often used to be full, over a kilometer long. The sport became popular with people who came from Britain and France in the mid-1800s. 
and the first match involving this new population took place in 1844. It became more popular and its players set up the National Lacrosse Association of Canada in 1867, which developed the techniques and rules necessary in sport. It became known outside Canada in the early part of the 20th century. Lacrosse appeared as a comp competitive sport in the Summer Olympics of 1904 and 1808, but since then it has only appeared as an exhibition sport, an example to show people what it is like with no opportunities for medals. The Lacrosse wor World Championships are held every four years until 1986. Only four nations took part, Canada, the USA, England, and Australia, but numbers are growing with 38 nation, nations entering the 2014 competition. The medal winning places are usually shared between the USA, Canada, and Australia. One thing that is quite surprising about the sport is that since 1990, a Canadian team called Iroquois. Iroquois, yeah, that's a first okay. nation. Uh, uh, yeah one of the villages, the Iroquois people. Nationals has taken part in international competitions. The, orig the only original North American people to do so in any sport. They have came forth in all the recent world championships, except for 2010, when they weren't allowed to enter the UK, where the competition took place. So they missed the opportunity co to compete for a medal. Mm -hmm. Aim and rules. Lacrosse is a team sport, and like many team sports, the aim is to score more goals than the other team. Teams consist of 10 players who use a long stick with a net on the end to catch, carry, and pass a small rubber ball. Players have to throw the ball of the, at the goal, a net that is unpointed eight meters wide by 8.8 .8 meters, 1.8 meters high. Each match is 60 minutes long with four quarters of 15 minutes each. Players can run with the ball, but they mustn't cut, touch it with their hands. Hmm. It's very good. It's very good. You read fast. And sometimes I wonder if that's good because uh, sometimes you'll make pronunciation mistakes. But um, no, the reading is really, really good. But you already know you're a good reader. Right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, you, you read very, very well, and you have very good pronunciation. You have been doing very well with your English. We're happy to have you in this class. All right. So first thing is, yeah, they don't. We don't, I don't, this is a British book, this material I'm using today. Uh, and they still say Indian villages, but they don't say that anymore. Uh, they use, in Canada, they say First Nations, First Nation people, which are Asians who went to North America, you know, over 10 to 50,000 years ago. Um, so they don't call them Indians. That was just kind of a confusion when they first went to North America, Columbus, and then they thought they went to India. And then he went back saying, oh, I got to India. But no, they're not Indians. And in America, they're called Native Americans. So, yeah. What's the national sport in Indonesia? Figure skating? Uh, I think badminton or something. Yeah, it'd be badminton or football for sure. I think it's football, actually. The national sport. Yeah. All right. So. Who first started playing lacrosse? And what was it called? Uh, what are the origins of lacrosse? The other thing about uh, reading fast sometimes is you might not catch everything as well. It depends. It depends. Everybody has their own style. It's a national sport of what country? Canada. That's right. So it started in Canada. Remember back in 1637, like almost 400 years ago. So how did the world find out about lacrosse? Who found it? 
Who discovered it? A French traveler. Yeah, it was a French traveler going through Canada a long time ago and went through some villages and they were playing a game called cross where they made some kind of net, maybe fishing nets or something on a stick. Who knows what they were using that at that time. The rules have changed a lot. For one thing, they play in an arena now. They used to play some, in, on something very, very big before. How big was the field 300, 400 years ago? When one village... Where? Over a kilometer long? <laughs> yeah, can you imagine playing a football game or something and the field is a, a kilometer long? Oh my God, that's a lot of running. You'd have to be in pretty good shape, yeah? No? You could just sit around and eat potato chips, no problem? This is not the time to be quiet! <laughs> This is the time to be talkative. Would you like to play a sport on a one kilometer field? Uh, maybe. You like to run? Not really, but kinda. Not really, but kinda? Mm hmm. All right. So, when was the first time the British and the French started playing the game? When did they start playing? Uh,. In the 1800s. Yeah. What does it mean, the mid-1800s? What would be an example of a year in the 1800s, mid-1800s? <clears throat> 1800. Right? Kind of like midterms. What does the mid mean? What do midterm tests mean? What does the mid mean? Short for what? Middle? Exactly, middle. So what would be the middle years of the 1800s? Uh, 1850? Yeah, so kind of like 1840-ish to 1860-ish. Those years around that time, that would be the mid-1800s. That's right. And that's when the British and the French started playing the game as well. Is it an Olympic game today? Is it in the Olympics, lacrosse? Yes. It was in the Olympics back in 1904 and 1908, but do they still have, are they still competing in the Olympics now? Um. What did they say about, about the way they have competitions? How do they compete now? You can look at the book. The idea is to find the answers. If we just try to remember everything, we're going to be in a lot of trouble in the future because we can't remember everything. So do you think they still play games in the Olympics now? Nineteen oh four, nineteen oh eight was when they had the they they did go to the Olympics over a hundred years ago. But since then, what have they done regarding the Olympics? They've only had exhibition games, right? Not for medals, just exhibitions to try to promote the game, try to sell more tickets to the game, get more people to like it, expose it more. So what do they do for, how do they know who the champions are in lacrosse? They don't, go, they don't compete in the Olympics competitively, so what do they do? What tournaments do they play in?
Jill? Um, Do we have to read it again? When we do these tests, you really should read it first and go through some of the answers and exercises just to get your brain on the right page. So how do they compete? They used to only have four teams. Now they have 38 nations that play in the competitions. What competitions do they play in? They play in their, in their own countries, of course. There's a league in Canada and the U.S. But how do they play internationally? Internationally. The information is right there. tells you right about, uh, about the, the, the four teams in the past and the 38 nations that play now. Where do they play these tournaments? Uh, Canada, USA, England, and Australia. What tournament do they play in? What competition? Yeah, in the beginning, there was only four nations that competed. Canada, USA, England, and Australia. But now there are 38 nations that compete. Where do they compete? What tournament? The Lacrosse World Championships. Yeah, the Lacrosse World Championships. Every four years, they have that big tournament, just like World Cup, and just like the Olympics, and then they can see who the world champions are. Exactly. All right. What is the aim of this game? What is it they have to do to win? To score more goals than, than the other team. That's right. And how do they score goals? What's their equipment? A long stick mm -hmm. with a net in the end to catch. Yeah, there's a picture of them there. They have to throw the ball. The ball has to stay in the net all the time. And it's when you have the ball in the net, other people can hit you with their stick. So it's really, really competitive. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a full contact sport. It's, it's quite aggressive, just like hockey. You're allowed to hit people. <laughs> Hockey's crazy like that. And you can fight. You never watched a nice hockey game and you're in figure skating? Oh, my God. You have to watch some old hockey games. They're very entertaining. How many players play on a, on a lacrosse team? Players? Yeah, about 10 players. How long do the matches usually last? 60 minutes. 60, yeah, 60 minutes. They play four quarters. It's kind of like American football and basketball do that. Four quarters of uh, 15 minutes each with stop time, of course. Yeah. All right, tell me a bit about your figure skating. Um, what do you have to do in practice and, and how often do you get to go to competitions and compete? Uh, we rarely go to competitions, but basically like a few times in a year. I guess. So do you ever go anywhere besides Jakarta to do competition, to have competitions or participate in them? Yes. So where have you been to compete with skating? Uh, I went once to Thailand. To Thailand? Wow. Did you have fun? Kind of, but it was a little bit nerve-wracking because my competitors were really, really good. <laughs> well, it's an international competition. Of course, there's going to be some good skaters. That gives you the reason to keep skating and work harder at it. You like it, right? Yes. Yeah, that's good. There's an old saying, if you're the smartest person or the best person in the room, you should move rooms because you're not going to learn anything. You should always try to go to the room where there's more competition or brighter and wiser people. 
because you'll learn faster. It's the same thing with figure skating. If you're better than everybody you practice with, your progress is not going to be as good as if you're practicing with people who are higher levels than you. So how did you do in the competition? First place? Uh, I, well, uh. Did you follow in your beep beep a lot? I forgot what I got. It was like three years ago. You forgot you went to an international figure skating competition and you forgot? Yes. Oh my God. How is that possible? That's like a big event. So what other places have you gone to have competitions? Thailand and... Yogyakarta. Uh, Yogyakarta. Okay. That's uh, Central Java. They have a skating rink there? Oh, my God. I took a holiday there once. It's a nice place. I liked it. But I didn't know they had any skating rinks there. Maybe it's new. When I went, it was like more than 10 years ago. Maybe before you were born. Oh. <laughs> so when's your next competition coming? When's the next time you're going to be able to figure skate competitively? Uh, I'm not sure since the pan there's still the pandemic everywhere. So a lot but of there will be like a show, but it's not a competition oh. soon. My mother loved figure skating. She used to bring us to a show every year and it was called um, something on ice. And it was a show that would travel and they would, uh, they would, they're all, they were all ex competitive figure skaters, right? This was what they did after they had a career in figure skating and they became performers. Um, but some dancing on dances on ice, I can't remember what the name of the show was, but my mom just loved figure skating. She would sit there in the afternoons on a Sunday and just watch figure skating all afternoon. She just loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. You would have liked her. <laughs> All right. You have yourself a good evening tonight. Don't be worried about competition. Competition is good. And we'll see you on, when is our class? We're Fridays, right? Yeah, Friday. For Interest 28. Yeehaw. Yabba dabba doo. Scooby Doo, we do. No comment. Uh. <laughs> you are being very quiet. It's not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. All right. Have a nice. Uh, I would say nice weekend, but I guess the weekend is over now. So have a good week in school. Oh, oh yeah. Tomorrow is Monday. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you.